What's going on YouTube? So today's video, I'm going to be getting ready with you and we're going to be talking about Laura Lee's brand new makeup that she just released. And so this video, it's going to be a bit toned down. I am actually getting ready to go to the mall. So I'm just going to put on just a little bit of makeup. All right, so I'm using Wet n Wild Amber Beige for this one. I already did my lashes and my lips. The lashes are by an unknown brand actually. I just picked them up because they're like really big. And the lips are by MAC by a color called Yash. Color here. And I already set my face with primer. So what's happening is Laura Lee actually came out with her makeup finally. And you remember in another video I said that I was going to give it a chance. I was going to buy it, review it, swatch it, and all that stuff like that. Well, we recently, she recently just showed us her makeup. But there's a lot of drama that's been going on with her makeup, right? So she posted it, I think, on her Instagram, and then like Trend Mood posted a photo of it. And Trend Mood like leaks makeup and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure Laura Lee like sent it to her, like, you know, check out my palette, promote it, whatever. So on Trend Mood's Instagram, it freaking was like a jungle in the comments and people were leaving very negative comments about Laura Lee's makeup, girl. <laughs> Here's my thing, right? So when you make YouTube videos, you're putting yourself out there to be seen, to be judged, to be talked about. And I understand that this makeup palette is Laura Lee's baby. Like she has been working on this for like, who knows how many years, right? Girl, don't be all wonky girl. And so anyways, the palette came out and a lot of people were saying, oh, it's just nothing but neutrals. They, people just weren't caring for the colors, girl. But I noticed that on Laura Lee's Instagram page, everybody was like, oh, we love it. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to buy it. Anywhere outside of that Laura Lee bubble, people are like, girl, I don't really care for it. It's not for me, right? And that's totally fine. Like, if, you don't, if you have an opinion about something and you don't like it, that's cool, voice it. But what was happening is Laura Lee, from what I heard in some of these receipts, girl, she went on and was like basically saying that how that Laura Lee was upset that people were saying negative things about her palette, right? Which we've all been there. Like if you're on the internet for the first couple of times and you see people started making fun of you or whatever, it's you naturally just lash back. But as you like progress with your on YouTube, you just know to just pay the negativity no mind and not feed into it. But Laura Lee was totally feeding into the negativity. For me, in my opinion, like I said, I'm still gonna buy the palette. It comes out October. 13th and here's my issue with it like I'm a very superstitious person I don't know about you but if you are a superstitious person let me know in the comments down below you can type the number seven if you are so on Friday the 13th girl I don't leave the house I try not to leave the house I try not to drive if I do leave the house girl I'm very just on that day I'm very like girl what's going on and she's releasing her makeup palette on October 13th Friday the 13th girl so I'm kind of like what I would not release my palette on Friday. Girl, this is come out pretty good, girl. So I would not release my palette on Friday the 13th. No, ma'am. Hell no. Not I, said the cat. Okay, I'm going in with NYX Melt in the inner corner of my eye. So yeah, so anyways, here's my advice to Laura Lee. Girl, don't pay attention to the negative reviews or negative people who aren't here for your palette. Because your palette... You want it to make it for everybody. It's a neutral palette, but a lot of people have seen neutral palettes before. Granted, that doesn't mean it's not a good palette or that it is a good palette. You just have to understand that everything is not for everyone. You know what I'm saying? If you go into life knowing that, things will be so much more better for you. You know, I know people don't like my videos. They don't like my makeup. That's totally fine. Everything is not for everyone. I think Laura Lee needs to really just take a back seat and being like, you know what? This is my accomplishment. I'm happy I came out with it. And if people don't like it, they don't like it. So let's look at some of her colors, okay? So I'm gonna pull up a photo here of some of Laura Lee's colors and we can go over them together. Okay, so the first color we have is gonna be Okie Doki. Now, just to keep in mind, the palette is very on trend with Laura Lee's personality. You know, Laura Lee's personality is very like quirky and cute and that transcends into the palette. So at least she's on brand with that. So Okie Doki looks like a very creamy type white material. I wouldn't say it's as white as this right here, but it is something that you could use as a base. I could, I. I could see that. Then next you have Scatterbrain, and Scatterbrain you already know is like a gold, copper eyelid, nude lip, girl. Manny MUA will love this palette, girl. Then you have Bomb Diggity, and then you have, what, 
Cray Cray. So Bomb Diggity and Cray Cray, they look similar, but I can actually tell that they are different. And with that being said, I think this two pigmentations will be, I think this will be used a lot, especially for like an everyday look. Let me just go on. This is like the type of colors you would just go to work with every day. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then you got that um, Redonculus, which is a true copper. Come on, copper. I believe this is called Quirky, but I can't find out the name really, but it's a kind of like a very deep purple. Then you have Kooky, and then you have in one ear and out the other. And then you have Oddball, which I said every palette needs a black. Like, no matter who you are, your palette just needs to have a black girl. Everyone, everyone knows that. So I think it's a very neutral palette. It's a very palette that anyone can work with. I consider it like a, like a starter palette. So it's definitely like if you're starting your makeup collection, you don't have a neutral palette, definitely check this one out. It does have some shimmer to it, which I actually like that a lot. But let's look at the design of the palette itself. So the, so the palette has like this kind of a floral imprint on the inside. And then it has a mirror. So the floral imprint just automatically reminds me of spring. This palette is for spring and it's a neutral palette. So it's coming out in the fall. That's kind of like, okay, maybe this was, did this come out too late? I don't know. And the front of the palette is like really glittery and shiny and stuff like that. So is it a palette that is groundbreaking, will change the world? Absolutely not. Is it a horrible palette? I don't know yet. I don't think it is. And I don't, who's, who's making this palette? I don't know who's actually manufacturing it. However, Laura Lee went on, her, went on her Instagram and was saying that this palette is made in the United States of America and that's not in China because the palette says Laura Lee Los Angeles, girl. That would have been so funny if it was made in China. It would have been like Laura Lee China, girl. But it's not. So the fact that it says Laura Lee Los Angeles and it's made in America, hey, you know what? Whether you love her or you hate her, at least she's making it here in America and that to me means a lot because it's giving people jobs. I, I'm gonna use Chanel Le Beige as like a bronzer. And so anyways, like I just wanted to say that, you know, with anything on the inter internet that you put out there, you're going to be judged, you're gonna be criticized. And so Laura Lee should not be on trend mood, clapping back at the haters. Like that's the last thing she needs to be doing. She needs to worry about if this is gonna ship out on time and the quality control. She don't need to be wasting her time all up in the comments, girl, complaining and stuff like that. But you know, doing stuff like that, you know, clapping back also drives attention to what you're doing. It also makes people like, what, what's going on? She's actually stepping out of line and saying something, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe it's a PR stunt, like who knows, you know? People that I know who don't really like care about makeup that much, they seen her palette and they're like, oh girl, not bother. You know, cause it is, you know, Laura Lee, I think should have came out with a more exciting palette, like more different color. I'm gonna buy the palette just to support like, a, you know, a YouTuber and stuff like that. Regardless, if you don't care for the person, you should care for their art. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like certain music artists because of what they've done in their past, but I do like their art, their music. Does that make sense? If I ever came out with a palette or something, I would like people, I would want people to judge it for the palette and not necessarily judge it for me. Then I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Jumbo Stick for the eyebrows just to give it more pop. But my advice to Laura Lee would be like, girl, calm down. Are you serious? Like. It's not that serious. Let people hate. Let people talk about your palette negatively. Let it. You're not gonna stop or change people's opinion, girl. Let them talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And be happy that people are talking about your palette. You know, and even if it's negative, at least people are talking about it. I always feel that whether it's good press or bad press, it's still press, girl. You couldn't put a money amount on how much drama it's bringing. I have a Makeup Forever setting spray right here. Set it because it has so much drama to talk about, girl. Ah. All right, and then I have to dry it out real quick because it gets really wet. But that's the main reason why I have the fan, so I can dry it out. I'm not even gonna ask you, what do you think about Laura Lee's palette? Put it down below because obviously the people have spoken. They feel like the palette was just very, what's the word I wanna look for? Anticlimactic, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was. It's not a bad palette, it's just anticlimactic. I think people were looking for something sick in the house and it's gonna be revolutionary. But then the day, Laura Lee is a classic, simple woman, and this palette is a classic, simple palette. You know what I'm saying? Like, just think about that. Like, Laura Lee is a pretty girl. Like, she's not a bombshell with big old boobs and big hair, the house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a Trisha Paytas girl. Like, 
bombshell. She's just a pretty girl and this is a pretty palette and it matches with her completely. And if she wanted a different reaction from this, she could have easily, the next palette is right around the corner. I'm pretty sure she's already thinking about what she's gonna do next. She can easily come out with a bigger, better palette and take all these feedback that people are saying right now and apply it into the next palette and make it 10 times bigger and better and shut all the haters up. So you can only get better. You know, like who does this in life? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you do this in life, you're usually, usually self-sabotaging yourself. Laura Lee, this is like a little bump in the road, girl. Your next palette, just make it 10 times better. Shut the haters up and come out with it. I'm still going to buy this palette because I do want to like swatch it and review it for y'all and show y'all what it looks like. Give you like a real honest swatch. Like I'm not here to promote. I'm just average consumer, girl. I feel like I'm a professional consumer. I spend so much money on makeup, girl. I can tell you if it's good or bad. And from the looks of it, it looks like a decent palette. It's not the best, not the worst. It's a decent palette. It's not gimmicky. I can tell you that. Like it didn't come with any gimmicks. You know, it wasn't shaped like a bear or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But I think the gimmickiness could have helped her in this situation. You know, because I like gimmicky stuff. I always have. But what I want to know is, will you buy the palette? Yes, no, yeah. We can we can talk about that. How about that? As always, if you like the video, smash that like button. It really does help me out a lot. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. All right, so next video, peace.